So finally, the most customizable custom room I have shared with you previously was Project Infinity X is now updated to the latest version, which is based on Android 16. We are talking about Project Infinity X version 3.0 official version I have installed on my device. And right now this is in initial stages. So this is a preview build for my device, which I installed. Let's have a quick look at some of the things which are included in Project Infinity X and things which you are getting. First change which I found in this case because this is initial version. So most likely that is why we have Pixel Launcher pre-installed instead of Project Infinity X Launcher, which is based on Launcher 3. But this is actually a Pixel Launcher. So it is having the latest set apps list option included there. Uh, by the way, maybe with the next update, we will see the previous launcher. But for now, Pixel Launcher is here. And also the quick settings panel as expectedly is the latest one, which you're getting in almost every custom room right now. The blur has been introduced already. You can reset size the tiles you can rearrange the tiles and many more things you can do with this quick settings panel the customizations might come later on in the terms of quick settings panel which you are looking forward to like previously uh, that might be added later on for now the uh, many customizations does not support these kind of things in quick settings panel basically the settings ui is quite simple one the similar one which you are getting previously too so similar options available in settings and same goes with the infinity suit which brings you similar options in this case the lock screen tweaks wallpapers theme status bar quick settings panel and so on and by the way if you're looking forward to some of the customizations like similar options yes we have but not every customization is included for now for example lock screen does not have the lock screen widget support in this case but it does have some font styles and so on but if you're able to notice some customizations here require the system UI restart. This is a new toast message. Whenever you open any sub menu here, you will see a new toast message there. The lock screen tweaks are quite simpler ones. So nothing is special in this case so far. If you move on to monet, monet settings, uh, material you, the custom themings, same toast message keeps popping up. As you can see, some customizations here require system UI restart. So keep this thing in your mind. If you move on to some theming options, you will notice fonts, icon pack, icon shape and so on. Some things are missing like wallpaper blur and also the boot animation customizations. Those things are missing as this is a very early version, early stages of Android 16 based custom room. So those features, those customizations might be added later on. For now, this is what we have. Icon shape, signal icons and so on. Navigation bar styles, icon pack. All these preview UI things are already available like the previous one. So that's good. Quick settings options, because as I just told you that it is bringing you the latest actual Android 16 quick settings panel. So we do not have much things to tweak in this case. Few options are there like quick setting battery options and media panel related tweaks. Also have the option of quick setting header clock styles and so on. If you move on to power menu styles, uh, power menu style, uh, we have few of the tweaks available, but the previous power menu, which was available with Infinity X Android 15, I made a video already on those versions. So you can go and check out that that power menu is not available. Unfortunately, that also might be added later on notifications, almost similar options with few of the extra tweaks. Heads up notifications are there. You also have the option for four stop and compact heads up and same options available. No extra things, extra tweaks related to notifications present here. Same goes with the status bar. We have the background chip option, but other background chip options are not there. Status bar icons like we have battery icon styles, which I'm already using. Also have the action chip, which means it brings you that new ongoing action chip on the progress bar on the status bar. Similar options available in the previous versions too. And same goes with this one. And if you move on to miscellaneous options, some security bypass features, same options available in this case, which is good. No storage restrict, hiding the screen capture status, ignore window secure flags, apps downgrade and so on. And same goes with the spoofing. The good thing is most of the spoofing options are present so far right now. We have the play integrity fix, which you have the option for key box XML. So which means if you have a working key box, you can use it to pass safety net or basically play integrity, strong integrity and so on. So this is it. These were the things I just wanted to let you know. This is about the initial version of Project Infinity X, one of the most customizable, beautiful looking custom rooms based on Android 16. Let's see when we'll see the new update having many options. This is it. Thanks for watching. And yes, I'll see you in the next one.